gosh, can you believe it's been one year since cruises started being cancelled? Are cruise lines going to start going out of business? And what's next? Stay tuned for those answers and more. Well, ahoy there, cruises. Welcome to this week's video with us, Cruise with Ben and David. Before we crack on, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have cruise updates, news, and a whole lot of fun. So subscribe now so you stay up to date. So let's quickly take a look at what happened last year. Well, it all began this time last year on January the 25th. The cruise industry saw the start of the damaging effects of this horrific pandemic. Sadly, one year later today, things have even got worse. Cruise lines started cancelling their sailings due to the outbreak of the coronavirus in Wuhan and around China. So that was a year ago today. One of the first ships to stop sailing was Royal Caribbean's Spectrum of the Seas from China. So that means Spectrum of the Seas hasn't even had one year of passenger service because she was brand new. It's so unfortunate. In February, restrictions were put in place to stop people from certain countries such as China, Hong Kong and others from travelling on cruise ships. We cruised on the Quantum of the Seas last February, just as this was all developing. The only differences we noticed was temperature checks at the port and the airport, and it was significantly quieter because of the restrictions for them countries. Yeah, shortly after our cruise in Singapore in February, countries started to close down, starting in Asia, seeing itinerary changes, but crews were still going. Then in mid-February, oh guys, there was that horrible large outbreak on Princess Cruises Diamond Princess in Japan. It was such an awful situation. Nobody knew what to do at the time with the virus or the ship. And then there was another outbreak on Ruby Princess. So that brought crews well into the spotlight of the media. This all led to Princess Cruises cancelling all operations for at least 60 days. They were the first cruise line to stop sailing back in March 2020. We have to say Princess Cruises have been fantastic throughout the whole pandemic. They've been the most realistic with their dates. They're always ahead. So if you want to see what's happening, look at Princess Cruises because they seem to know what they're doing. Yeah, at the time though, this was a shock, wasn't it for us, Ben? Because we'd never ever heard of a blanket ban on cruises. It never happened. It's never happened where they just turned around and said, look, we're going to stop sailing. It was crazy. Other cruise lines started to follow suit. And then Canada became the first country to put a stop to cruising in its waters just a few days later. Canada has now been cruiseless for almost a whole year. And then what happened was that cruise ships were getting stuck at sea because cruise ports around the Caribbean and around the world were refusing to accept them. So there were ships full of passengers with absolutely nowhere to go. They had to um, speak to the governments of the US and other governments around the world to organise an end to all of this. And it took weeks to happen. Some of these ships were at sea for weeks with nowhere to go. In early March, we cruised in Dubai on Royal Caribbean's Jewel of the Seas. But this trip was cut short when there was a Covid scare on board. It turned out to be a false alarm though, but other countries would not accept our ship, so it was cancelled after just two days. Then on March 14th, just a few days after our cruise in Dubai, the Centers for Disease and Control, or the CDC in the USA, issued the first of its no-sail orders and suspension of further embarkation for cruise ships. Oh gosh, as you know, this was pushed back and back and back throughout the months. But in a glimmer of light, several cruise lines returned to cruising in Europe in July 2020, including MSC Cruises, TUI and Costa Cruises. Yeah, and they've been doing a fantastic job of proving that cruise can still go ahead with brand new cruise protocols. So these cruise lines are cruising around Europe right now, still in 2021, proving that cruises can still go ahead with these strict protocols. And then just a few months ago in Singapore, Royal Caribbean resumed cruises on Quantum of the Seas, and so did Dream Cruises. World Dream Cruise Ship also resumed sailing from Singapore. So these voyages from Europe and Singapore are just from the people from that region. They are sailing in, so to sail in Europe, you need to live in the EU and be part of the Schengen zone. And for Singapore, you need to be a Singaporean resident. Meaning like us, the vast majority of the world can still not cruise. This is a whole one year later, Ben. Now, doesn't this feel like it was at the same time yesterday? But it's been the longest year ever. It really has. We were also very lucky, as you saw, to sail on Sea Dream Yacht Club's Sea Dream 1 yacht back in October. 
they had so many protocols in place. We had to have two tests before boarding, then a test on board. So few passengers as well, but it still managed to get on board in Barbados. This basically showed that whatever the protocols were, it would still find a way on board. Yet this is a sneaky and dangerous virus as it remains hidden in many people. Completely unaffecting them, but when it does infect someone with pre-existing conditions or an older person, it can be deadly. It managed to sneak its way past two tests when we're on Sea Dream. And just as our Sea Dream cruise was coming to an end in October, the CDC in the USA wiped out the no sale order and introduced a brand new conditional sale order. This means that cruise lines have to prove themselves and their protocols and policy works. This will be done by carrying out test cruises with volunteers, testing all different aspects of cruising, such as emergency drills and emergency procedures, boarding and disembarkation. And once the CDC is happy that the cruise line has done enough, they'll be given a certificate to sail again, but there's lots of hoops to jump through first, and no line has carried out any test cruises yet. And so far, Royal Caribbean are the only company actively looking for volunteers. The higher up you are on their loyalty scheme, the more chance you'll have of getting picked. Yeah, so even though the uh, no sail order was lifted, we didn't have a rush of cruise lines then sailing from the US. It really was a very, very, very small step, wasn't it, to a return to cruising. And sadly, during the pandemic, we've lost several cruise brands, including Pullman Tour Cruises, Cruise and Maritime Voyages, Jalesh Cruises, FTI, and Blount Small Ship Adventures. There's also been a record high of 13 ships being scrapped in India and Turkey in 2020, and we're sure there's more to come this year. So what is the situation now? Well, one year later, things are looking pretty bleak. Apart from the two ships in Singapore and the few ships sailing in Europe, the whole industry is at a standstill. The positive news is that the vaccine has now been rolled out, with three vaccines approved for use in the UK and the USA. 15 million people are due to be vaccinated in the UK before the middle of February, and a massive 1.5 million vaccinations in the USA every single day. It's only a matter of time before cruising resumes. Cruise lines have spent the time very wisely coming up with brand new protocols to keep passengers and crew safe. And the majority have retrofitted brand new airflow and ventilation technology on their ships to make them super, super safe. Yeah, you can find out more about that in the video that we did. We'll pop that in the corner of the screen right now. We're still waiting to see what the new administration in the USA will do. Will the CDC change back to a no sale order? We just don't know yet. And in a shock announcement just a few days ago, Royal Caribbean announced that they are selling the Asmara Cruise brand. Actually, they've sold it, I should say. And every week we hear more and more cruise ships been scrapped. Some ships as young as 24 years old. That's very young for a cruise ship because they usually last up to 40 years. Well, the big question on everybody's lips, will cruise lines survive? Well, this obviously depends on how much longer the situation can go on for, but we can tell you some things that we do know. The industry has been in a free fall since the COVID-19 pandemic hit last year. The bad publicity from media has left the public believing that cruise ships are deadly incubators of disease. Well, guys, you know and we know that this is not true. They're doing their best to blame cruise and turn people off. We know that cruise ships are some of the safest and cleanest forms of travel ever. And with the brand new protocols, it definitely will be guaranteed to be the safest place. On top of this, 64,000 American jobs have been lost due to the close down of the cruise industry. It'll take years, if not decades, for the whole industry to recover from this mess. But cruise lines do not have an endless pit of money. The whole industry is throwing away billions of dollars every month, maintaining its empty fleet of ships with skeleton crews. And the ships need to be kept running at sea with crews on board. Otherwise, the systems and the ships themselves will deteriorate quickly, especially in a saltwater environment. Simple things like toilets in every single guest bathroom have to be flushed regularly to keep the plumbing working and prevent rusty pipes. Cruise lines have sold ships, cut back capital expenses, furloughed and cut back on employees, and raised additional capital and push back the payment of any debt that they have. For example, Royal Caribbean has raised billions of additional liquidity. They estimate their cash burn to be in the range of $250 million to $290 million per month during the suspension of operations. How 
crazy is that? But during this time, they have been able to improve the company's liquidity profile by approximately $12 billion for 2020 and 2021 combined. Just to give you a good idea of how much money they're burning with their $12 billion that they've got, well, they burn roughly around $1 billion per quarter or $4 billion per year. So you can see they're quite safe. Norwegian Cruise Line said it was burning through about $160 million per month. And the Carnival Corporation are spending a staggering $650 million per month on keeping their empty ships running. Oh, that's crazy. The big three cruise companies known as Carnival Cruise Group, that includes Princess, Cruises, Holland America, p and and Carnival Cruise Lines, as well as Norwegian Cruise Line and Royal Caribbean are all safe at the moment. There is no need to panic. They all have currently enough cash in hand to survive well over a year without a single dollar of revenue or any passengers. So please do not let this put you off booking a cruise. They are all very, very safe and in a comfortable position considering the conditions really. So the number one question that we keep getting asked and the question that we keep asking, when will cruise return? Well, personally, this is just a complete guess. We expect to see cruising coming back to the USA and Europe in mid 2021, probably around June or July at the earliest. Oh, but this comes with a big asterisk. This can change because the situation is ever changing and it's gonna come back slowly. So do not expect a full start with all of your favorite cruise ships and cruise lines at the same time. You're gonna see reduced capacities and fewer ships with fewer destinations at first. And unfortunately, Ben, with a whole load of new protocols like temperature checks, COVID tests, wearing masks and social distancing. And we'll know that this will put off loads of people. Lots of people have been telling us they will not cruise whilst there's social distancing going on, whilst you have to wear a mask. And that's fair enough, but you've got to remember, this is going to change quickly as it becomes safer and more people are vaccinated. So we can build up that whole herd immunity. There is a demand there. People can't wait to cruise again. And we are very confident that it's gonna be back and bigger and better than ever. It's just gonna take a while, guys. Bear with Cruz, it will be back. And all of this soon will be a distant memory, hopefully. So that's it for this episode. We really hope you enjoyed watching. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. As you know, we love to hear from you. What do you think of this whole situation? Can you believe that it's been over a year? And make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. It really helps us out. And we've got so much fantastic content on the way. And a big thank you to all of our patrons for your support. You can find out more about Patreon in the description section below. Our captain of the week is Nicole. So ahoy there, Nicole. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.